in this class uh, we will discuss uh, one or two problems on uh, the application of uh, bernoulli's theorem so in the last class i had explained i have derived the eigenvalues equation of uh, fluid motion on the streamline and also from the eigenvalues equation we have derived the bernoulli's equation the bernoulli's equation consists of uh, three important uh, terms so that is one is the pressure head another is the velocity head another one is the datum head the total head remains constant in a fluid flow at a section that is the simple way of uh, expressing bernoulli's theorem now we will uh, before going for the problems on bernoulli's theorem i will just explain you once again how that can be used in analyzing fluid flow problems so i have taken a tapering pipe here that means tapering pipe means the diameter is uh, varying from this end to this end so d1 d2 they are the diameters corresponding areas will be a1 a2 so a1 is pi d1 square by 4 a2 is pi d2 square by 4 v1 is the velocity at section 1 v2 is the velocity at section 2 p1 is the pressure at section 1 p2 is the pressure at section 2 and z1 is the datum head at section 1 and z2 is the datum head at section 2 that means uh, datum head is uh, measured with respect to a reference or the datum so here i have taken this as the datum line with respect to this whatever elevation is there to that particular point that is called as the datum head so this head can also be written as energy per unit weight so you have to observe here energy per unit weight of fluid and head they mean the same they have the same units uh, that is meters meters of that particular fluid here if you add the pressure head velocity head and datum head you are going to get the total head or total energy per unit weight of fluid so both mean the same so at section 1 you have p1 by gamma plus v1 square by 2 g plus z1 as the total head at section 2 you have p2 by gamma plus v2 square by 2 g plus z2 now according to bernoulli's uh, theorem these two total heads remain same so p by gamma is called as the pressure head which is also called as the static head p will be in newton per meter square gamma will be in newton per meter cube gamma is the a specific weight of the particular fluid which is flowing through the pipe so you should be very very careful about these units that's why i have written here si units you have to follow v square by 2g is called as the velocity head or kinetic head where v is in meter per second g you know that it is 9.81 meter per second square constant z is called as the datum head or it is also called as the potential head which is expressed in meters now according to this bernoulli's equation or bernoulli's theorem the total head remains constant means the to uh, total head at one is this one v1 by gamma plus v1 square by 2g plus z1 this should be equal to total head 2 is p2 by gamma plus v2 square by 2g plus z2 suppose if you consider the loss during the flow loss during the flow loss may be due to anything in pipe flows the major loss will be due to the friction that is exerted at the pipe walls so which uh, which uh, acts uh, in the opposite direction of the uh, direction of flow so if you consider that loss of head uh, between the sections 1 and 2 then i will take it as h so this uh, if you neglect those losses then what happens uh, this will be equal to this if h becomes zero suppose if this uh, sections 1 and 2 are at the same level if they are at the same level means if z1 is equal to z2 then these two things also will get uh, cancelled and if losses are neglected h will be zero then you are going to get a very simple uh, form of bernoulli's equation p1 by gamma plus v1 square by 2g is equal to p2 by gamma plus v2 square by 2g if you observe this equation since uh, this is this equal to this if p1 is greater than p2 suppose if pressure at 1 is greater than pressure at 2 then automatically v1 will be less than v2 so pressure and velocity uh, they are uh, of course inverse to each other that means at the section where the pressure is more velocity will be less and vice versa so that is the meaning so this is a very important uh, concept which we can use in the case of uh, horizontal pipes horizontal pipes for z1 and z2 they are same and uh, when the losses are neglected now this is about the bernoulli's theorem now i will discuss some two problems here so problem one it says like this oil of specific gravity 0.9 is flowing in a pipe of 300 mm diameter 
at the rate of 120 liters per second if the pressure at the point a is 25 kilo pascal and at the point and if the point a is 2 5.2 meters above the data compute the total energy per unit weight of oil that means total energy per unit weight is also called as total head or the total head at point a so this is the given problem so in the first problem he has asked to only what is the total head that means we have to calculate p by by gamma plus v square by 2g plus z so that value he has asked us so to understand i have drawn a sketch here so this is a pipe through which some discharge q is flowing so here he has given the value of uh, discharge as 120 liters per second we should be very careful the liters per second should be converted to meter cube per second you know that 1 meter cube is 1000 liters therefore Uh, 120 liters is 120 divided by 1000 that is 0.12 meter cube per second is very very important to convert uh, the units uh, into SI units then he has given uh, the fluid as oil whose specific gravity has given 0.9 so from this specific gravity you know how to compute the specific weight so specific weight of oil gamma o is given by s o multiplied by gamma w so here gamma w is specific weight of water Which will be in newton per meter cube, nine thousand eight hundred and ten. That value will not be given. You should remember that value of specific uh, weight of water. When you multiply this, you are going to get eight thousand eight hundred twenty-nine newton per meter cube. That is the value of gamma O. Then the pressure at this point A. So this is the point A. Here he has given it as twenty-five kilo pascal. So in, uh, you have to convert that to newton per meter. Twenty-five into ten thousand uh, thousand newton per meter square kilo means ten power three. So then Q I have converted the diameter of the pipe. He has given 300 mm, which should be converted to meters, 0.3 meters. From the diameter, we can calculate the area by the square by 4. Pi by 4 is the point in square, which gives out, which gives us 0.0707 meter square. Now from this, uh, you can calculate the velocity of flow at the point A. So you know that according to Cartan's equation, Q is equal to A into V. So velocity is equal to Q divided by A. So Q is 0.12, A is this 0.0707. If you simplify, you get the velocity at this point A as uh, 1.697 meters per second. Now the datum head at the point A, he has given Z value 5.2 meters above the datum. So these are the Data is one. See, please observe here. From the discharge, uh, we have calculated the velocity. So Q by A, or A we obtain from diameter D. So all these details uh, uh, he has given. Pressure he has given. Velocity we have computed. Z D has given. Now we can use the uh, expression for the total head at the point A. The total uh, energy per unit weight of the fluid. So just use this expression P by gamma plus V square by 2g plus z. So since I am writing at the point A, I have to get as PA, V, and z here correspondingly. So just a small subtracting these values. So P by gamma is PA by gamma is PA is 25 into 10 power 3 divided gamma is 8829 gamma of y plus V square 1.6 times 7 whole square divided by 2 into 9.81 that is the value of g plus z value is 5.2 meters. Now if you simplify that. You are going to get 8.178 meters of oil. So this is how you have to compute. Actually, this is energy per unit weight also. So like this also you can write. See, you know that energy is nothing but the unit of energy is nothing but newton meter only. So because it has got the unit of work only. So that is, if you write that newton meter per Unit weight means it is newton per meter cube. So energy per unit weight. So now this, uh, if you simplify, uh, you are going to get uh, meters only. So here uh, energy per unit weight of oil can be written as meters only. So either you can write it is in it as in meters of energy per unit weight. So that is how. Uh, you can uh, write the uh, value of uh, so sorry for unit weight means it is like this sorry so newton meter is the energy in meter for unit weight means it is newton so if you simplify this uh, you get meter so so either you can write head or energy per unit weight so this is the 8.178 uh, uh, meters of oil is the final answer this is the total head 
or the total energy per unit weight that is flowing at this point here. So that total head uh, varies. Uh, depends on, uh, total head remains constant uh, uh, according to Bernoulli's theorem. Your pressure may be different, velocity may be different, uh, z may be different, but the sum, sum will be same. If you take the sum, sum is constant if you neglect the losses. So this is the first uh, problem. Second problem, it's an important type of problem, uh, wherein uh, he has given the data, give, uh, data like this, a pipe 300 meters long, so 300 meters, length of the pipe is 300 meters, has a slope of 1 in 100, so it is not a horizontal pipe, it is an inclined pipe, pipe like this, so this, this is the pipe, general energy pipe, it is inclined at 1 vertical to 100 horizontal, tapers from 1200 mm diameter at the higher end, see at the higher end, this is the higher end, this is the lower end, 1 is the higher end, 2 is the lower end, so it is tapering. So here the diameter D1 is 1200 mm. You can take convert to meters 1.2 meter. D2 at the lower end the diameter is 600 mm. 600 mm. So which is 0.6 meter. Now from the diameter we can calculate the areas A1 and A2. So A1 is pi d1 square by 4, 1.13 meter square you are going to get. A2 is pi d2 square by 4, 0.283 meter square you are going to get. And he has given what you are doing is it carries water at the rate of 5400 liters per minute. So you should be very careful here. LPS liters per second, LPM liters per minute. So Q he has given 5400 liters per minute. This should be converted to meters cube per second. So very very important. So cubic meter cube per second you have to convert. So liters to meter cube is into 10 power minus 3 divided by 1 minute is 60 seconds. So divided by 60. So if you simplify this, you get 0 0.09 meter cube per second. This is a very important step. So they may give the discharge rate of flow value in meter cube in LPS or L LPM. You have to convert that into meter cube per second before substituting in the formula. Now the, he has also given if the pressure at the higher end is 70 kilopascal. Here, 1, P1. P1 value is 70 kilopascal means 70 into 10 power 3 pascal or meter per meter square. Now the question is, find the pressure at the lower end. That means P2 we have to find. So we have to find out the value of pressure at the lower end is here. And also, uh, I have to indicate the direction of flow. So neglect losses. So HM will be 0 here. He has given there are no losses uh, during the flow. Losses can be, uh, there will be losses but neglect. So neglect, neglect is very small that you can neglect. HL value we can take it as 0 here. So this is the uh, problem he has given, he has asked the value of uh, the pressure at the lower end, P2 value. One thing you should keep it in mind is always flow occurs from higher higher pressure region to lower pressure region. So here the pressure here is P1, pressure here is P2. So P1 value has given 70 kilo pascal. Suppose if the value of P2 is uh, less than 70 kilo pascal, then flow occurs from 1 to 2. If the pressure at uh, 2, that is P2 value is greater than P1, then the flow will be upwards. So 2 to 1. So if you be very careful. So in pipes, uh, you can have the flow upwards also. Whereas in canals, it is not possible because the flow is due to gravity in the case of canals. In the case of pipes, uh, you can have you can have flow in the upper direction, vertical uh, direction also. Now, this is what uh, he has given, this is the diagram, so you have to draw the diagram to understand, uh, to apply the equation. Now, uh, one more thing he has given, slope of this uh, pipe, this pipe is laid at a slope of 1 vertical to 100 horizontal. Now, he has given this length of the pipe at 300 meter. If you, if you take this uh, bottom point, the center of this uh, section 2 as datum, so this as datum, then the center of section 1 will be here. So this will be your Z1 and Z2 will be 0. Why Z2 is 0? Because I am taking here itself as the data. So if you measure the center line of the pipe at this point, from this data it will be 0. Therefore Z2 is 0, only Z1 we have to find out. Now from the diagram you can observe, we can directly write here. Suppose if the uh, length is 100 meters, the vertical uh, drop will be 1 meter. Here they have given the length as 300 meters. So length of the pipe is 300 meters. So corresponding vertical drop is 3 meters. So for 100 it is 1 meter. Therefore for 300 it is 3 meters. Therefore you can directly write Z1 as 3 meters. Now we have to apply 
this equation to solve the problem. Now I will uh, solve the problem like this. Now write out the apply the Bernoulli's equation between the sections one and two. So unknown P two can be found out. Now let us write out the Bernoulli's equation first between the sections one and two, and then we will substitute the known values and unknown P two can be found out by solving the equation. So you can observe here P two is the unknown. But before that we need to calculate the velocity also because we need to have a soft velocity head also. Now let me explain how to do the problem. So applying, I will continue that. Applying Bernoulli's equation, applying Bernoulli's equation between between sections between sections one and two, one and two. So the equation is P one by gamma O here. So it is uh, P one by water is flowing, you know. Yeah. It carries water, so that means P1 by gamma W, P1 by gamma W plus V1 square by 2G plus Z1. This should be equal to P2 by gamma W plus V2 square by 2G plus Z2 plus HN. So this is the general expression of Bernoulli's equation. So here he has given since there are no losses, HN will be zero. So no losses he has given. Assuming no losses means we can neglect losses means there are no losses. H and term will be zero. Z one is zero because I have taken uh, this point itself as the data. Z as uh, a Z two will be zero. Z one the value is three meters. Now whatever values are now you just go on substituting. But we need to calculate the values of V one and V two here. So as you know from cutting the equation, V one is equal to Q by A1. So because Q is equal to A1 V1, so Q by A1. Q is 0.09. So substitute in terms of meter cube per second. 0.09 divided by A1. Here I have calculated 1.13 meter square. So area at section one. So if you simplify this, you get the value of V1 in meter per second. So its value is V1 is 0.079. 0.079 meter per second. Next similarly, V2 is Q by A2. So Q by A2 means Q is once again 0.09 meter cube per second divided by A2 value. Area 2 will be 0.283, 0.283 meter square. If you simplify this, you are going to get the value of V2 as 0.318, 0.318. Be, be careful about the units meter per second. Now you can observe that since A1 is uh, Greater than a two, v one will be less than v two. So area and velocity they are inversely uh, inverse to each other. Now because two is constant, now substituting these values in this equation, so we are calling this equation one. Substituting the values, substituting the values in one in equation one. So let us see what are the uh, values. P one by gamma. P one is seventy to ten power three. B K will be given to seventy to ten power three divided by gamma W is nine thousand eight hundred ten plus V one value. I have I have got point zero seven nine square of that divided by two into nine point eight one two G plus Z one is three meters. Please note that huh? Z one is three meters. If it is a horizontal pipe, then both Z one and Z two will be equal and they will get cancelled. But it is an inclined pipe. So three meters plus is equal to P two is unknown. We have to find out P two divided by nine thousand eight hundred ten gamma W plus V two is point three one eight square of that divided by two into nine point eight one plus of course Z two is zero. H two is also zero. So this is what uh, we have to substitute. Now if you simplify this entire thing, uh, you will get uh, the value of P2. So P2 after simplification, you are going to get it as uh, 99.38 into 10 power 3. 99.38 into 10 power 3 pascals or newton per meter square. So newton per meter square is same as pascal. 
Corona, you can make it as 99.38 kilopascal. Because here given P1 value in terms of kilo, kilopascal is 70 uh, kilopascal, you are getting P2 as 99.38 kilopascal. Now, pressure is known. Now, to find the direction of flow, you can observe the values of P1 and P2. So, P1 is given as 70 kilopascal. P2 we have got 99.38 kilopascal. So, if you observe these two values, you can see that P2 is greater than P1. That means uh, flow up, flow will be from 2 to 1. So, higher pressure to lower pressure region. That means in this case, what happens? The flow is taking place uh, like this. So it is taking place like this. So this is how the flow is taking place. So Q is not in this direction. Q is upwards because pressure here P2, pressure here is P1. So P, P2 is greater than P1. So higher pressure to lower pressure region. So this gives the direction of flow. So this problem is an important type of problem wherein uh, pressure at one end is given, pressure at the other end is unknown. Another type of problem is they may ask you to find the loss of head. So total loss of head, that is HL. HL may be unknown. If they ask you to find HL, then all the other data you should be known. So that is another type of problem. Anyway, same equation, if they ask you to find HL, all these details will be known. Anyway, they will give the value of Q diameter. From diameter, you get the value of area. Q by area will give the velocity at those two different sections. Pressure, they will give. Uh, then, uh, the uh, after substituting in this, you can find out the loss of head. If loss of head is Oscar. In this problem, of course, he has given neglect losses. If they give like that, then you have to take HL as 0.